Hi guys, welcome back to the garage. It's been a bit, huh? Yeah. Yay for Friday. It's Friday. All good things happen on Friday, right? Am I right? Okay. So, oh gosh, I have so many videos I want to make. I have seen so many good spreads going around that I want to do. But I actually have a few decks that have come in. Um, yeah, even though I haven't, I haven't bought too many. Well, I don't think I bought too many this month. But I've backed a few Kickstarters, so that won't be for quite a while. Anyway, um, I saw this Oracle deck. And I'm not sure if it was in Tarot Nerds or if it was in Flock. But um, I saw it advertised and I was like, oh my gosh, I have got to have this deck. And I'm sure you guys are going to feel that way about it too. The deck is the Oracle of Nahalena. Oracle of Nahalena. Look, it comes in this pretty pink box. And it's by Bella Seol. Bella Seol. And I am going to link her Facebook page um, in the description part of the video here because it tells a lovely story of how, she, how this Oracle deck came to be. And it has to do with the start of her witchy path. Um, you know, when, when she was very first starting out, uh, this was the goddess she ended up starting with and so it just kind of blossomed from there but anyway it's a great story it really is a very touching story so you can go read that on the Facebook page anyway so here is the Oracle deck it comes in this beautiful pink box and then when you open it look you get this you get this lovely bag and there's a book so let's see so here is the the deck in the bag and then we have the book and that's you know I'd say that's a pretty chunky book for for an oracle here um, the box has nothing on the back about it so it's just a and I love that it's pink and a, a deep pink so um, and so this is by Bella Seal and Igor Alexandra or Alexandre. My accents are terrible. Oh, she's so sweet. She signed it. She signed it. How delightful is that? How sweet. May this oracle bring good guidance. I'm sure it will, if the cards are any indication. So the book here is uh, Acknowledgements. Introduction. We have an introduction. The protector. Oh, Nahalena, which is the goddess Nahalena, and she is the protector of seafarers. So that's where this deck started. Um, how to consecrate the oracle. The symbols. Okay, so it looks. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so each card. It looks, oh, okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, so um, each card is in color, and it has the card description, and then it has different divinatory meanings depending on what kind of spread or what you're using it for. So it says for immediate advice, immediate advice on a specific situation, or on a personal level, or counsel from the sea uh, on a yes-no question or a health-related question. So it has answers to all of those, those different things. Um, she also has a section back here on how to read the oracle and the shell spread, shell reading method. Three, two shells. Nine shells, Nahalena's rudder. Wow. Oh, look, she even has a correlation table in the back here. How great is that for quick reference? Wow. Okay, so the correlation table is the symbol, which is the card. Keyword, yes, no, related problems. How about that? Wow. Cool. 
And the second half of the book, folks, is in Spanish. So if you are Spanish speaking and this book, it has a completely Spanish section in the book, which I think is wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, let me get into the cards here. I saw these cards, and they're small, and they're square, and I just thought they were adorable. I thought they were wonderful. Um, so here are the card backs, the shells. Oh, guys, the artwork. Okay, the cardstock is good. It's thick. It's thick. I think it's probably 330. But anyway, there is Nahalina herself. Wow. Beautiful. Just beautiful. The anchor. The sand. I love the colors. This looks like uh, watercolor to me. The sunrise. And I think it's just gorgeous. I even love the borders. I love the different colored borders. And I don't know if that has any significance. I'll have to read the book to figure that out. Um, because there are different colors. So. Girl in the shell. Oh, I can't wait to use these. These are gorgeous cards. And you know what? I personally think with the coloring, they're absolutely perfect for spring and summer, although this card seems to be good for autumn time. Sunset. My friends, the seagulls. Boy, do we have a load of seagulls around here all the time. Wow, look at the island. Can you see the lightning back there? How cool is that? The rudder. Wow. Just beautiful. Look at this a cornucopia of shells. Or actually a shell of shells. On a, on a wave. That's awesome. I like that. Wow, the shipwreck. The serene sea. The angry waves. Reds. This is just beautiful. The artwork is just stunning. It really is. It's just stunning. And the pastel colors are, are beautiful. Um, this deck is just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I can't wait to really dive into the meanings and things. So chalice the storm oops the storm but look we have a rainbow on the other side we have treasure the throne and then the last card is the vase interesting interesting okay i'm going to get into the book here for a second and see what it says about uh reading the cards so ooh, ooh, that's near the back okay uh, da, 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 da. okay so it says the oracle is composed of 33 symbols called shells, which embrace universal concepts related to material aspects, human choices, and actions, feelings, and emotions, events, and external energies reflecting on physical, mental, and emotional domains. Each symbol also brings 
messages, or advice. The oracle also comprises various drawing methods for a more complete reading as well as a simpler yes or no reading. So, wow. So you can open a reading with a general view. There we go. Um, reading about events. She does put health-related questions in here. She does. Yes or no, simple. So it says yes or no questions. For simple yes or no reading, one shell is enough to demonstrate the answer. Since each shell has a positive or negative meaning or of possibility. So that's great. This is wonderful. I'm going to give a little shuffle. I'm going to give a little shuffle here. There aren't too many cards, so I don't know that I would riffle shuffle this deck. Um, but uh, they shuffle really nicely. Uh, matte finish. They are matte finish, which is nice and um yeah so let's see i really have no question for you except um are we going to have a good weekend what kind of a weekend are we going to have what kind of a weekend are we going to have are we going to have a good weekend let's see what kind of a weekend are we going to have since today's friday and the winner is uh, the harbor the winner is the harbor so let's see what we have to say about the harbor mm. harbor page 74 Whoop. so it says here to to any seafarer, the harbor is a place of the beginning and the end of every journey. The temples of Nahalenia were strategically located near important trading centers situated along the Rhine River in the Netherlands. So it says the harbor symbolizes stability, physical safety, achievement, materialization, reaching objectives. It also means the realization of an idea, dream, or project. It represents certainty of protection of material goods and properties, possessions, and real estate-related affairs. So, you know what? We're going to have a bitchin' weekend. That's what this says to me. Everything is right in the world. It's where it should be. We are in safe harbor. I love this. I love this deck. Love this. All right, guys. Go out and get yourself a copy of the Oracle Oracle, blah, 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 Oracle of Nahalenia. And uh, much love, and I'll see you next time.